Hello! Hey, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. I want to apologize, first off, because I am very sick. I uh, Yesterday, in the video I posted just the day before, which is what yesterday means, I was talking about how I had a cold coming on. Yeah, it's come on, and now my head hurts a lot. It feels like there's two very small men inside my head trying to let everyone know what's going on and banging mallets against the inner part of my skull. So... I, my head's pounding, but the thing is, I want to stick to this daily upload grind. We're at, like, day 246 out of 365, and I need to hit that year mark. I have dedicated myself to it. We are going to get there. And so we're going to do that today with another topic that I'd found online about some streamers getting into a very awkward situation and getting scammed out of $250,000 from 21 Savage. Yes! That's the situation. That's what's gone down, and I wanted to talk about it. But before I get into that, I want to talk about something that I found on Twitter yesterday that's a really good intro into this topic. So, I saw a video of a streamer being asked who he think the most influential streamers in the business are. And that's a good question. Who do you think the most influential streamers? Who changed the business as content creators? Well, you might hear a bunch of different various answers, but the answers this streamer gave were Kaisenot, a streamer I've never heard of before after Kaisenot, and then Aiden Ross. Now, I can understand where that could be considered a hot take, because Aiden Ross has been renowned for making some pretty bad decisions in the past. But when I heard this guy explain himself, he made some pretty valid points. Like... And I'm going to paraphrase it by far. This is not at all what he said. But he talks about the fact that people like Aiden Ross and Kai Sinat, they essentially replicate in a modern day version of iCarly in real life. That's not his analogy. That's mine. I'm not going to let him take credit for that. That was funny. But, <laughs> I mean, think about it. You have Aiden Ross. You have Kai. They stream. They have a giant room with a bunch of knickknacks and trinkets in it, kind of like mine. I have knickknacks. Oh, my head just went right in the way of all the knickknacks and various trinkets. And they bring on, like, super mega celebrities to do various different bits. I mean, Kai Sinat had Nicki Minaj on recently, and it creates some pretty interesting content that garners hundreds of thousands of viewers, justifiably because two giant names with giant followings clash together, you know, through the addition. It creates people coming together who know each other. It's really interesting, and I can understand how that is a revolutionary thing in the streaming business. But recently, 21 Savage has been take making the rounds on different streamer streams, doing the thing that celebrities do best gambling, hell yeah, wasting all their money, and going on to Kai Sinat stream first, and wagering $300,000 on 2k, and they played 2k, Kai Sinat did not win, and it created a reaction like this, which I think is one of the funniest things, also the clip that I have is your rage reacting to it, so you're gonna see two people destroying their setups at the same time, ooh, oh, did I, did I spoil the ending? <laughs> My bad, chat, anyways, let's hit play. <laughs> Where did he get a guitar from, by the way? Like, I'm looking at Kaishana, but where did this guy get the guitar from? Like, what? Dumbass fucking, dumbass fucking game, bro. Get out of here, bro. Done with all this shit, bro. So, if you couldn't tell, see, I'm a psychologist, I can pick up on emotions like this. He seemed unhappy. <laughs> but I saw another stream recently where 21 Savage went on to Aiden Ross's stream, and I shit you not, he almost scammed Aiden Ross out of a quarter of a million dollars. Now, you might be like, 21 Savage scamming a streamer? He has six, a $16 million net worth, why would he even do such a thing? Well, let's break it down. I want to talk about it in a video, because it is not as easy as just being like, HE DID A CRYPTO SCAM! It's actually, like, something that could happen to anyone. It could happen to anyone if you ever do anything related to gambling or even just wagers in a card game. And I will say, after watching the stream with Aiden Ross and 21 Savage interacting together, I, I gotta say, Aiden Ross is much more mature than what he had first been when he initially moved to kick. I don't know what has changed in him, but he genuinely seems like a nice dude. I love that the intro of the stream starts with him being like, Uh, chat, first of all, put a W in the chat for him pulling up. You came, you came through, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. What, what is you? it? Huh? What is it? Right here. I'm saying, this not, what, what, what's the website? Huh? What's the website? Oh, it's called Kick. You ever heard of Kick? I just noticed, I thought he said, what does the whale say? He's saying, what's the website? But he's just saying it with a slightly like, accent. Yeah, no, he didn't know what Kick was, which I thought is kind of funny. But he does he's very respectful to 21 Savage. Understandably, I probably wouldn't doubt that he's, like, starstruck with him on the stream. But what happened initially is they started gambling by playing 2K. And Aiden Ross is good 
at 2K. Like, that's one of the reasons that he became so popular. He initially started as a 2K streamer. And of course, 21 Savage was not doing good in 2K. He was getting incinerated by Aiden Ross because the dude has so much more experience than 21 Savage. 21 Savage isn't terrible. He clearly beat Kai Sinat for 300 grand, so he doesn't not know how to play the game. But Aiden just outplayed him. And so they tried to take a different approach to things. They wanted to change the game up, change the wagers up. How else are they going to be gambling their money? Because gambling addicts, they gotta goddamn gamble. That's what they gotta be doing. And so they did two different other alternative ideas. There was dice, where you roll the dice, and whoever has the higher number gets like $10,000 every round, which is absurd to me. But there was the second game, which 21 Savage avidly supported doing, which was high card. Now, that sounds like a very complex idea. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Yeah, no, it's, it's high. It's the higher card wins. You, you put a bunch of cards on a table. Whoever has the card with the higher number gets the money. And that's what they played. And there's a video that perfectly breaks down the situation as it happens that I think just perfectly illustrates all the possibilities in which 21 Savage could have initiated cheating. Nah, he's not going to scam me. Trust. I know how to play that shit. So it starts off with 21 Savage whipping a fresh deck of cards straight off the Walmart shelves and Aiden Ross very confidently saying he's not going to get scammed. Oh, you poor naive boy. Yeah, nah. Do we have like a table where we could sit like this? Yeah, a little circle. No. Like a little circle of a table? Yeah. I don't know why I decided to make a comment there. Yeah, no, but next you can see that 21 Savage takes this fresh deck of cards that he just opened and passes it out to his, his as they say, goon, his buddy, his pal. Here. Don't get caught. Yeah. Did he just- Okay, wait a minute. I didn't even notice this on my first watch. Did he just say, don't get caught? Yeah. He's gonna put table right here. So wait, there's no play again? Don't get caught. What? This is like anal hyper-analyzing the audio from like a ghost show. <laughs> you gotta play at least a thousand. Alright, I'm gonna learn it, bro. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna lose more, so it's fine. Also, I just want to have a side note, something this video doesn't even point out. How is 21 this confident about a game that is 100% up the chance? How can someone be confident about winning a game that is literally the... a, a, a coin fliss? A coin... coin fliss. I was supposed to say coin flip and coin top, but that doesn't make sense. Whatever. It continues. Hi, card, yeah. Why is it getting the goon? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's a goddamn Lego Batman character. It is? And then this is the next cinema sin. Allow me to point this out really quickly. Notice this guy, the self-proclaimed goon, uh, and what he does when Aiden Ross looks away. What was that? Hold up, we gotta get a quick replay. What was that? Caught you in the act. Smack your hand really quickly. What are you doing, you goofball? Pointing out the cards to him, telling him which ones to pick? Now, I will say, Aiden Ross looking away at all while playing a gambling game about which cards higher is stupid because he could have just lifted the card up to see which one. But still, this already leaves a weird taste in my mouth. And keep in mind something really quickly. This happened in front of 100,000 people. People who are watching someone gamble, so obviously they are versed in the gamble-verse. They know what gambling is like. They've probably either cheated or have had someone cheat on them before. So, people could spot things like this. They could even spot the dude pointing. That in itself was a weird thing to have. And so eventually, one of Aiden Ross's buddies comes onto the stream once 21 Savage steps away for a moment and points something out for him that he had noticed when it was happening. Scratch. But this one doesn't have a scratch and it's a king. Oh, I don't have a scratch. Oh, oh, do that, bro. Yeah. But it does. The face of realization. Nah, they're scratched, bro. It is? Yeah. These these cards are both scratched. What is this? Look, I'll show you. you. Get the other face cards up? I don't know why he shows it to the camera as if the camera can focus on a scratch on a card. Watch. Just try and show me. Show us. I want to see it. a little scratch. Wow, look at that. Look at that scratch. I can see it so well. And then 21 Savage comes back, and I think Aiden doesn't think that 21 in any reality would ever try and cheat him in a game of cards, and so he tries to explain the hacking mechanic to 21 as if he's never seen it before. Did you see a little scratch right there? You are going to ignore that voice crack that just happened. I've been trying not to cough between each take. It is a pain. But anyway, 21 Savage, everyone. This one don't got it, though. What a scratch. You don't see right here? We can play that same game back right now. It's like, where's the scratch? There's a scratch on these cards? You're telling me someone might have been cheating? Who would, who would ever 
cheat in a game of cards who would ever help me cheat in a game of cards and my god the awkwardness in the room after that went down is terrible see they tried to make things right they went on omegle and they had a uh, different type of gambling where they'd both get into a call and whoever in the call they connected to said was hotter would get the money so uh, 21 savage won a lot of money back during that they also did a little more 2k but <laughs> my god look at the the vibe of the room after everything went down <laughs> Oh my god, it feels like a still image. So do you want to play? Oh my, I, I actually, I can't sit and watch more. That was 14 seconds. It felt like a minute and a half. Actually, I will watch more. I kind of want to see what happens. Okay, beat you at 2K, bro. Yeah, no, he knows he can't win at 2K. But you know what he can win at? Cards. When he knows what they all are. <laughs> and there's already been edits being thrown together of, like, lines from 21 Savage's songs. Like, how many times did you cheat a lot? How many times did you lie? I would argue a lot in this situation because he made a quarter of a million dollars. Although, what I've heard is 21 Savage ended up paying Aiden Ross all of the money back. So he's made it right. However, it doesn't change how awkward that situation was and how it did kind of ruin his name a little bit. I feel bad for him though. Because, to be honest, if it isn't his fault and one of his goons actually gave him a deck of scratched cards, that sucks. But I also feel like when after he had gotten caught cheating, both people in this situation, both parties, handled it terribly. Like, they both sat awkwardly and kind of sat when I feel like Aiden should have done what he did initially at the end where he said like hey let's just call it even you know let's just call it even screw it who cares we gambled you got caught cheating it's fine it was a fun stream regardless because it was it was a fun stream got some good publicity that was nice but it was kind of handled awkwardly it kind of sucks and it ended with that and I don't think we'll be seeing 21 Savage on an Aiden Ross stream anytime soon again and I don't think we'll see Aiden doing anything except 2k gambling again either because my god that was embarrassing to watch for now I'm gonna call the video here though I appreciate you guys sit with me if you did I apologize that this didn't have an intro bit I usually like doing the little skits in the beginning but I am so drained and tired I'll try and get one for tomorrow's video however I'm gonna be recording tomorrow's video right now so i might still be just as tired but we'll see i appreciate you guys being with me though i appreciate you spending some time subscribe if you are new to stick around for more and like the video to catch me on your homepage more often i am currently fighting off a cough to try and finish this intro so get out of my video thank you for being here support me in any way you can i'd appreciate it so much and i'll see you next time and as always adios arrivederci goodbye good night and don't play cards with 21 savage